So this is how you can make a dictionary command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before this video starts, I would like to say that memberships are available on my channel. You can get these memberships by clicking the join button next to my username or clicking the link in the description. If you get the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will get access to paste bins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your discord bot or website so that you don't actually have to type it out. If you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot. If any of this seems interesting, interesting to you, go ahead and click the link in the description or the join button next to my username and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by going over to community and we can create dictionary.js. And here we can go ahead and start by defining a couple things. So we can do const we'll do slash command builder and we can do embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're just going to get discord.js. Then we can do module.exports equals, we can open this up data we'll do new slash command builder we can do dot set name and this is going to be a dictionary and we can do dot set description in here we're going to say this gets the definition and examples of a given word just like that then we can add a string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name in here we're going to get word and then we can do dot set description and in here we can say this is the word you want to look up we can add a comma we can do async execute We'll do interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to actually go ahead and get our words. So we can do const word equals interaction dot options dot get string. In here, we can just get our word string just like that. Then we can actually go ahead and get the data. So we can do let data equals await fetch. We're going to use a fetch API just like the meme command. In here, we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste the link that I put in the description below into the string right here. And then after the last backslash, we can just go ahead and open this up and we're just going to put in a word. Like I said before, if you don't want to actually have to type out this link, that will be in the description below. We're going to check to see if there is data to begin with, because if there's not data on this API, then that means the word doesn't exist. So we can do if and then data dot status text equals equals. And we can do it not found. And we can just go ahead and open this up and we're going to return interaction dot reply and say content. And in here we can say that word does not exist and we can make this informal. So E-P-H E-M-E-R-A-L make that true. So now we can actually go ahead and get some information. So we can do let info equals await data.json and we come down here and do let results equals info and then we can put a zero in here. So this is going to allow us to actually access the information in the API link. We can actually get that information by doing await result dot meanings dot map. And we can open this up. We're going to open this up again and we're going to do data comma index. Then we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function. We can do let definition equals data dot definitions and then we can open up a bracket. We're going to do zero. Then we can do dot definition just like that. Then we can do the pipes and we can say no definition found. Then we're going to make an example. So we can do let example equals data dot definitions. And then we can do a zero just like before. And then instead of definition, we're just going to do dot example just like that. And just like we did before as well, we're going to do the pipes and a string. And in here, we're going to say no example found. So one thing that I did forget to do is we are actually going to make all of this information a variable. So we can do let embed info and then we can just do equals and that's what we're actually going to go ahead and put in our embed later. So we can come down here and we can return some values and we'll open up this return. We can do name and in here we're going to do data dot part of speech. Then we can say dot to upper case just like that. We can add a comma and we can do value and in here, we're going to get a backslash tick, backslash tick, backslash tick three times. We're going to do a space and we're going to say definition. And then we can go ahead and input our definition in here, just like that. Then we can do backslash n We do example. And in here, we're going to get our example. Then we can do space backslash tick, backslash tick, backslash tick, just to finish that off. Now we can actually go ahead and create the embed that's going to send all of this information. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color. And we're going to make that blue. We can do dot set title in here. We're going to go ahead and say definition of, and then we can do a pipe and we're going to go ahead and bold result dot word just like that. Now we can add fields instead of actually writing anything in the fields. We're going to go ahead and input the embed info variable. The reason for this is because we are actually returning both the name and the value, which is required for a field. So we can just do embed info just like that. And then we can actually go ahead and send this. So await interaction dot reply. We can open this up and we can say embeds and embed. All right. So before we actually go ahead and restart the bot, I am going to go ahead and make this string option required because we do need a word. So we can do dot set required and we're going to go ahead and make that true. So now that we're done with all of this, 
this, we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. So we can do slash dictionary, and in here we're gonna go ahead and input our word. So I'm just gonna do word, for example, and as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say definition of, and then the word that we inputted, so that's gonna be word. It's gonna go ahead and give us the noun, verb, and interjection definition. So as you can see, it's gonna say the definition, you're gonna go ahead and give the definition, and if there's no example in the JSON file, then it's gonna say no example found. Now you're gonna notice that here it says no example found, but here it actually gives an example. That's just because for some cases there will be an example saved in the file and other cases there won't. So we can go ahead and test this out a couple more times. So we can do slash dictionary and we can just do something like YouTube just to see if that works. So as you can see, it pretty much works for every word because this is an actual dictionary JSON file. Now I am gonna go ahead and test out inputting an invalid word into the dictionary command to see what happens. So if we do slash dictionary and we just put in a couple of letters just like that, it's gonna say that word does not exist because it could not find it in the dictionary JSON file. So that is how you can code a dictionary command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If this works for you, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If not, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.